G'day everyone, welcome to the Martial Arts Business Success Podcast. We're at episode 82, we've got Graham and Phil, and we've got some killer information that we want to share with you today. But Phil, what are we going to open up with today? I just, uh, we had a little bit of response back from some of the opportunities that we've had uh, and been talking about. I really wanted to get this out straight off the bat because uh, one of our frustrations and a lot of school owners who we've worked with uh, have the frustration of CRMs, attendance tracking, you know, how do we do all that type of stuff? Well, you know, we've been listening and not only to other people but ourselves as well and our staff. So we've created a brand new software, a CRM package called the complete, uh, sorry, what is it called? <laughs> <laughs> Martial Arts Business there we Software. Go, yeah. we've, got we've got so we... many different names going on, it's awesome. Martial Arts Business Software, it's a, an awesome package that's really built from martial artists for martial artists. So really guys, uh, the basic level that we're giving it out absolutely for free for you to trial out and check out and um, see what you think about it. But I suggest if you're interested in uh, learning more about this uh, software package, please reach out to us at admin at and we'd we'll be gladly to share the landing page with you before it actually gets officially launched. Hey guys, look, I know that I've spent this on a couple of podcasts, but again, I can't urge you enough to go and check out the Blues from Hyper because of the programs that we're, we're running on. I'm glad to say there's a bunch of great schools here in Australia that are running it really well and globally. The guys are now in Mexico, geez, they've got it in the UK, Europe, America, it's everywhere. So it's great to be part of a movement, especially you know for youth and trying to give them that identity because I know that that team market can often be a, a challenge. And this program really plugs in well to all schools. So team, if, if what I'm saying to you sort of interest you and you want to find out more, go across, have a look at the link that we've got posted for you. It's a great way to check out what the guys do from both a business owner, but also a student perspective. So get in there, there's plenty of plenty of details, plus also the discount code, which is TIMA, T-I-M-A. Put it in there, guys, and you get a $100 discount on every single month subscription that you guys are there. So can't recommend it enough. All right, well, let's get cracking. We've got 2017 staff training. Graham, I know yesterday we had what we call an all-in staff meeting brain training. Yep. What are we talking about with this sort of staff training 2017? Look, it's, it's aligning with new staff because I know with, with a big organization as we are, we have plenty of staff that we deal with and they don't always get a chance to come together. But this was a great chance to really set out what is coming up for this year. And look, we didn't do it week one of the year because there's still people elsewhere. We made sure that we start this, you know, at this time of the year simply because we want to make sure that all people are on board, they're all present, they're ready to rock and roll. So the very first thing we're talking about with these guys is setting expectations. Now what is that? What you've got to look back on is review the year gone by and have a look at how your team performed both internally, externally to your business, how they perform socially. Uh, because at the end of the day, I'm sure you guys can all appreciate, a martial artist often just starts teaching because they love teaching, but then they become a bit of a, a superstar, almost like a celebrity profile to their students. If you've got staff that are out and about and doing things that don't align with your company values or your school values, it doesn't really work. So what we look to do is all of our team are great employees and great people, but we never just expect the same standard from the year previous. We look to always improve, and that's what we communicated through our meeting yesterday, expectations. Social media, what is the, it's things we never had to talk about, you know, five years ago, but what is the image and the, you know, the presence you wanna put online? What about dealing with when all your students wanna be your friends? How do you keep your personal and professional life separate? Or do you mix it, but then choose your battles or choose what you post on there? What were some of the other things that we covered with the guys? Uh, I guess just um, uh, behavior and uh, you know how they behave both you know on the floor here and their relationship with students and other instructors, but also uh, at external events as well, mm -hmm. whether they are representing us at a uh, Weymouth school event or maybe they're just at someone's house that you know is a friend of a student and they're there representing us because maybe they've got one of our shirts on. Uh, you know what I mean? They're, they're, what Graham's getting at is we sort of have this celebrity status as martial arts uh, instructors, especially within your own community. And you know, like Graham and I can't really walk down the street around <laughs> Perth because Perth's quite small without someone seeing us. So we've got to be careful not to pick our nose, you know, <laughs> sneeze on someone or anything like that. We have to be really, really careful. Um, <laughs> but with what we do, but you know, we still be ourselves, but we're just not going to be out there promoting things that you know aren't us, that but also don't 
uh, align with the values of you know who we think who we are as a person and who we're representing as a business. I guess also to, to couple with that, we talk a lot about inspiring our guys, but the vision we have as an organisation has never changed. Our, our goal is to to make as much impact on our community and help people be the best version of themselves. So you know we're in the business of changing people's lives. That's what we do. That's our catchphrase. That's what we do. But our expectation as the world grows and changes and we're dealing with different day-to-day -day challenges, we've got to make sure that we inspire our staff to stay focused on that vision, that, that mission that we're on, but also what's expected on them as they move up the food chain. What happens when they have staff that they have to manage? How do they expect? So when it comes from the, the senior directors, you know, the, the upper management team, they're able to then use that expectations to be able to remind their staff if they step out of line. Hey guys, remember at that staff meeting, we talked about these expectations, this is what I want. So it allows them to really kind of realign and bring their staff back on the same page if they step off. And to be honest with you, most of our guys are you know, red hot. It's just the guys who are newer to the team may not necessarily know mm. what to expect or what is expected of them. So that's something that's really, really clear and involved. I think we had a probably about a, a, a six or seven page document that we went through about these expectations and everybody was on the same page they understood what we're talking about and then again we got them to sign that so that was a great starting point for this sort of like a commitment statement we're saying i commit to upholding these standards yep uh for 2017 and you know what we'll probably do it again in 2018 like well, definitely the year that was we're going to get better we're going to realign our uh, our values, realign our expectations and standards, and then we're gonna give every single employee to sign that, yes, I'm committing to this level of standard. Hey, uh, we've spoken about it you know, tons of times, both at public events where we've spoken on stage, but also on this podcast, the values that we have in our school and our, our organization here. And Kaizen is one that we have out of our six, constant and never ending improving. And, and basically, that's what we're showing our guys that we do. We will constantly look at ways to better serve our clients, better serve the staff, better ways to serve you as an individual. And to do that, you've also got to look back at yourself and go, geez, how can I improve myself so I'm not just doing the same stuff as I did last year? Yeah. So, you know, it's really important to, to get that sort of expectation, and as you pointed out, that sort of commitment that goes with it too. Yeah. So I think, I don't know if we've spoken about it before, but while we're on sort of staff training and setting the expectation for 2017, uh, maybe just to give the uh, viewers and the listeners here a little bit of an outline of what our meetings look like throughout the year. So what sort of weekly meetings do we have? What monthly meetings do we have? What three monthly or, or six monthly or 12 monthly meetings do we have? <laughs> Graham, do you want to just- Oh yeah, run okay. That have we, have we got time? <laughs> nice and quick. Look, it's, it's uh, you know, we have weekly meetings, individual branch meetings. So the guys are basically, you know, taking, and, and we start, I guess, really at the top, we have a weekly managers meeting, which aligns from us, we speak to the managers, and then they have their weekly meetings with their team. So it all sort of flows downhill, weekly meetings. Then obviously what we're looking at doing is once a month, we're having a team built all in sort of training. That's where all the full-time staff come to one location and there's some brain training as well as physical training. So what that physical training does though, it trains them in aspects of their job role. Some are in admin, some are behind the scenes, some are front of house leading uh, the entire floor. So we wanna make sure we give them specific tips to be able to implement throughout that month. Then what we'll look at doing is once a quarter, We'll actually bring the entire, again, staff team together and do an upskill day. And that is about, for, for us in our system, we have different levels of progression in that rank. So for example, I'm a level one in administration, level two in administration, level three, what is that entire? Level, level one reception, two and three. You know, so the idea with this four hour lockdown, once a quarter, it gives the guys a chance to be signed off on by going, Phil, you're in a sales role, you're a level one now, to get a level two, you need to be able to be competent at doing this, 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 this. And we provide that training because people need to grow, not only as a martial artist, but in their job role. And if you don't have something in place for them to do that, they get stagnant. So that's once a quarter. Obviously we do that four times a year, and then there's gonna be times where throughout the year we'll do a, a team building activities and exercises together. So not, we, to, not to mention uh, we require all our staff to train twice a week with us, physically on martial arts skills, as that's Mondays and Wednesdays <laughs> for two hours of pop as well. So uh, we, we, we require a high standard, and one of our slogans is our instructors, our instructors have to train harder than our students. Yeah. 
and our instructors have to be well versed and well educated in the the going is on of, of the martial arts business yeah. so look I guess one final sort of thing that we do and this is something that um, if you've ever listened on a, on a side note to any of Phil's sort of podcast video blogs and all the rest of it a very inspiring person and we both do that on a regular basis to our team but it's, it's something you know I know it's a segue but I highly recommend you guys jump it across have a look at some of the stuff that Phil does it's, it's brilliant but it's things that we do like that on a regular basis that brain trains our staff and gets them inspired so for example on my way to work this morning I'm listening to a podcast in my car I'm like awesome I can actually share this podcast or this uh, audio book with my team so what we do is I have a subscription to Audible, audible.com. It's a great place where I listen to you know heaps of wicked books. I get on there and if I find one that's a gem, I'll share that with my team. And that's something that allows them, if it's of interest to them, don't force it on them, but if they find it resonates, they download it, listen in their car. And that keeps them inspired, it keeps them motivated, keeps them training in a way that normally most people just rock to the radio, whereas we tend to turn our cars into universities all day long. So that's another little sort of tip for today. Audible, or even better, go across, check out his stuff. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's, you know, it's inspiring and empowering. And really, that's what you got to do. Not just teach good martial arts and teach good systems. you got to get your team motivated to follow you. And uh, that's what good leadership's all about. Absolutely, guys. All right, before we sign out, I just want to let you know that, you know, all the things that we talk about, all the structure, all the systems, all the programs, anything and everything that we've used to create our businesses, uh, are all on an online program for you to access. It's normally $99 a month. Well, it still is, but for podcast listeners and viewers, we want you to have a look behind uh, underneath the bonnet, check out behind the curtain, so you get to try five days for $5. All you need to do, go to our website, tima.com.au, go to the course, that's $99 one, enter the coupon code, TRY5, T-R-Y, the number five, and you're gonna get five days access. So I would uh, definitely recommend you go try it out. If it's not for you, you can unsubscribe and that's all good. If it is for you, you can continue on. There's lots of other stuff that we do, like monthly uh, members webinars as well. So not only do you just get access to the online content, but you'll get access to us on a monthly basis, literally in your corner, helping you, guide you with the particular topics as well. So go check it out, guys. I can't wait to share some more content to you on the next podcast. Have a fantastic week and we'll see you on the flip side. Thank you.